page of the table of contents a little easier to read. Message from the president, Yantaro, oops, I'm sorry, here we go. Yantaro education section, recommended reading, health, uh, health and fitness, Islam around the world, Islam in China, poetry, um, community window, and even entrepreneurial advice. This is another um, article that appeared in one of those early Yantaru newsletters. This is a social welfare progress report. And you see that um, this concerns a large area um, populated by refugee communities who were in need of items like uh, clothing, bedding, shoes, headscarves. This is, in this case, the Somali uh, refugee families in a suburb of Pittsburgh. This is a column that appeared by one sister, Amina Hernandez, which gives you some insight into some of the new converts and reverts who are uh, really from a Latin background, Latinos, Latinas. And she actually is in Grand Rapids, Michigan, um, talking about the, the rauda and preparation for that. Here is an article um, about community reform. A uh, Muslim mayor in New Jersey was running for office and had uh, to deal with some conflict in the, in the news programs. Um, he was victorious and um, managed to work through this, and I understand um, that Boston politics and, and New England politics are um, somewhat similar to this. So this is no surprise. And another article was dealing with San Diego. Um, and this was interesting to me because he begins by saying that it may be surprising that in San Diego's inner city, just blocks away from the four corners of death, there is, between a martial arts dojo and a neighborhood grocery store, the Logan Islamic Community Center. And then within this center was a, um, a group of Yantara women who were training, teaching one another. <coughs> Now, um, this online article explains that the chapter was begun in 1999 and has grown since then, consciously modeling their community on that of the 19th century Shehu Usman and Fodia's own community in which women were certainly involved in teaching the social as social welfare work um, using her poetry and casitas. Now, the article is refreshingly frank about the unique nature of the 19th to 21st century connections, noting that scholars and students alike have purposely sought education in West African contexts. Um, the article notes, there is wonderful irony in the fact that these young reverts, themselves a product of hip hop culture and modernity, have become qualified to teach Islam. Several of the brothers have in the past eight years traveled extensively to places like Yemen and Mauritania to study for years at a time with scholars like Sheikh Muhammad al yakubi and Sheikh Habib Umar in order to pass on what they've learned, becoming fluent in Arabic and receiving ijazah, which is license um, to teach in several Islamic sciences. The local Jaji notes and I'm quoting here, women are the foundation of the Muslim community. They are the first educators. If you have ignorant women, you'll have an ignorant community. If you have knowledgeable women, you'll have a knowledgeable community. And this is something that the World Bank realized years ago, that if you educate the mother, then the birth rate goes down, the quality of life goes up. So um, this is not news, but unfortunately, it's, it's often um, not followed. In keeping with the ecumenical philosophy espoused by the original Yantaru, this group, like the one in Pittsburgh, embraces all members of the community regardless 
of religious affiliation. Mohammed Zaki Abdul Latif, 26, is a local DJ. He remembers, he says, um, this night was a particularly successful event. We called it the Non-Muslim Family Gratitude Night, where we held a banquet and a seminar, and Imam Zaid gave a talk on understanding Islam. Abdul Latif and others at the Logan Center have recently put their musical and rhetorical talents to use online by hosting a program called Discourse, an internet, internet radio show on Earthbound, capital E, Earthbound Radio, um, which airs every Sunday afternoon from 12 to 2, a mixture of clean hip-hop and conscious discussion. Now, um, the awareness of and enthusiasm for the Yantara movement has come full circle, as you can see by this slide. Its benefits are being touted back in its place of origin. This article on Fongwan by Haji Abdul Kisu Yusuf was on the occasion of Fongwan's 23rd annual national conference. However, the Sankari Institute affiliated with Fomwan uh, and, and made some other international affiliations in the year 2000. So the Sankori Institute, the Yantaru, and Fomwan are all um, well connected. Um, Northern Nigeria has continually been a region that fosters women's organizations. During the past few decades, such women's groups have been linked to political parties and often populated by women of reasonable socioeconomic and educational levels. Since the 1980s, women have organized numerous conferences that have resulted in the founding of activist organizations like WIN, Women in Nigeria, WIN, and FOMWAN, the Federation of Muslim Women Association in Nigeria. These organizations then work to effect human rights-based change within the community. So FOMWAN, is the outgrowth of the uh, initial years of women's organization. And I attended the first two WIM conferences in 1980, uh, 1981, 1982. And the core of women who were responsible for organizing that went on to organize FOMWAN and have been continuing that. This is known as a Muslim women's organization, but it serves all of Nigeria, and um, there are chapters in every single state in Nigeria. They're very well organized. They have their um, national officers and their regional officers, and they are very transparent economically. You can um, audit at any time. This is always an issue. They make sure they all have volunteer positions, and they use their time to orchestrate um, educational and social welfare activities. The point of this article, which was in allafrica.com, is that Bilkisu is making a direct connection with Sokoto. And I've known Bilkisu for years and years. Um, this indicates to me that the things I was hearing at the first two, the first WIN conferences, people saying, Nana Asma'u can do that, or I mean, the sentiment that I heard when I would ask some woman, how is it that you can you know, produce poetry? Does your hu husband give you permission? And the answer I would get would be a no-brainer. It would be which needs no translation. Like, that's an idiot question. Of course I can do what I want. And they would say, you know, if women can read the Quran, then they don't need to rely on what their husband tells them because he may tell them the truth and he may not. And so we go directly to the source. I can do what I want as long as it's what God wants me to do. And so this primary source material of the Quran is very important. So in concluding all of this, let me say, first of all, that attention to the original Yantaru movement um, considers a moment of history. And I, I realize that um, be, before I get to what else I want to say here, I have a few more slides to show you. Um, from the blog that followed the newsletter, when the newsletter that was written by one person sort of evaporated because that person moved to Atlanta and no one else was around to do it, there followed a blog. And then 
Uh, now there is no blog, but the Yantaro site is on the Sankari website. These are Yantaro classes in Pittsburgh. And this is a brand new 2010 um, curriculum for the training of Jajis and Yantaro women in the United States. It is put together by Jaji Delia Bint Hamida Kamara, uh, Hamadi Kamara, who is herself from Mali, but she was raised in Texas, and uh, she knows both sides of the pond very well. She's the national Jaji. She goes and visits the regional women and gets them organized. So um, 